Sheikh Mohammed Saeed Al Jamal Al Rifai was born in an olive grove in the Palestinian village of Tulkarem in 1935. As a young man, he obtained a degree in Islamic law and moved to Jerusalem where he worked in the court, eventually becoming a judge. The Sheikh followed a path of Islamic mysticism called Sufism, a collection of practices passed on from master to student, which vary from order to order, but all include charity, simplicity, and promoting peace. When Sheikh al-Jamal was in his 30s, his Sufi master died, and he was given stewardship of the order, the Shaduliya path. The culture of the 1960s and 70s created a climate of spiritual seeking and religious exploration. Many young Americans turned to spiritual practices of the East, including Sufism, and through that, Islam. Some of these seekers found their way to Jerusalem, where they met Sheikh al-Jamal and became his students. They returned to their homes with a commitment to embody their new path in their everyday lives. They continued their studies through the Sheikh's books and met regularly together for spiritual practice. They also went into their communities to volunteer and help those in need, practicing charity and promoting peace. The Pope Valley community specifically was established because um, the Sheikh students in America needed a, a place for communion. They needed a place to come together where the Sheikh could also go to, um, to be with them there and answer their questions, a specific area. And um, the mosque, for its beautiful landscape, provided the perfect region, the perfect place for spiritual growth. In 1997, the Sheikh and his students founded the Shaduliya Sufi Center in Pope Valley, California. It is a retreat center modeled on the scholarly Muslim communities found in the Muslim world. One of the Sheikh's main objectives in founding this particular Sufi community in America was to fully integrate the practice of Islam with the study of Sufism. The mosque in the center provides the framework and traditional wisdom of Islam. It was simply um, seeking a place that was large enough and uh, it happens to be just a story of really luck that this uh, property was available and it was affordable, and also it was uh, beautiful. When his, a lot of his followers returned to the States, or where they, wherever they had come from, Sufism had really given them a purpose. A lot of them were actually doing work and jobs and supporting themselves and gathering communities around them because of the Sufism, and because of their new studies, and because of their new faith. It had brought them together, and some of them had brought financial support and job support they hadn't had before. The city was probably the most single most transformative relationship in my entire life. And I find it um, amazing that a man came from Palestine in the middle of a, a war zone and he bore no hatred or no malice to anybody. So when I met him, he was, when I sat in front of him, it was one of those, I've heard people talk about meeting the Dalai Lama or meeting people who have, who carry incredible peace and love and light. And it was exactly like that when I met this sheikh whose name is Sidi Muhammad al Jamal. That's the way he did it. That's the way he did it, by, the, by, by doing it the way that truly Islam is all about, is by uh, being good, being nice, being kind to everybody. And that's how it was. During the making of this documentary, Sheikh Mohammed Al Jamal suffered from a stroke and passed away in Marin County, California. He was mourned by hundreds of his students in the United States, and his body was flown back to the Holy Land, where his funeral at the Dome of the Rock was attended by thousands. He was laid to rest on the Mount of Olives at the feet of his beloved wife. The Sheikh's students in America are dedicated to keeping the center in Pope Valley flourishing as a place where American Muslims can visit to study Islam, Sufism, and their Sheikh's teachings in peace and tranquility. I can see why my grandfather loved to be there.